Listen to everything the dead tells you to do or listen to everything your mom tells you to do? I don't want to listen to my mom. Bye, mom. Bye, sissy. Trip your little sister. <laughs> yes, trip her, trip her. No, I don't want to do that. Then you can become one of us. Yes, become dead like us. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll do it. Just stop. Stop, please. Trip her. Come on, trip her. Hey, sissy. Yeah? Owie. <laughs> All right, class. It's time to write your exam. Don't write your exam. <laughs> Pick up your pen and throw it right at the teacher's eye. No, I won't do it. Okay, I'll do it. Throw it right at her eye. Bullseye. Whew. Well, I guess that makes sense. My soulmate wouldn't be hiding in my bedroom. It still hasn't gone up yet. Hi, Brianna. Derek, hi. Guess you're not my soulmate. What? Mom, I'm home from school. No way. My soulmate's near my house? Honey, your sister will be coming over with her new fiancé. You can finally meet him. That's great! It's so loud. It's too loud in here. Hi, I'm Chad. It's great to finally meet you. Oh no! Brianna, what's wrong? Spring is here and I don't have any cute clothes to wear. I have just the thing. Here, try this on. Wow, this outfit is so cute. Where's it from? It's from Halara. It's the Cloudful Yoga Backless Tank Top and the Cloudful Crossover Tennis Skirt. I love the crossover waistband. It really makes me look cinched at the waist. And the built-in shorts and pocket on the side are a must-have. Seriously, Bessie, this outfit is so cute. I'm definitely going to wear it when I play tennis this weekend. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Um... Princess. Sissy? They time it. Rhyme it. You'll be the stepmother, I be the princess. Hurry up, Sissy. They time it. Rhyme it. You'll be the stepmother, I be the princess. We play just like recess. I do shoot. I want to dispute. We time it and she didn't rhyme it. <gasps> She's still breathing. She might not be leaving. Please let me try and save my sister. I'd miss her. Go, but tell anyone about this and I'll know. She's going to be okay. You can visit her where she stay. Sissy, I missed you, little missy. One of our partners nearly killed your sister. Tell us what happened with the mister. He timed it and she rhymed it. He shot her by mistake. His mind must have been on break. Why you lie about the guy? Mom, I'm back. Why did you only get five bottles of air? I asked you to buy a case. I know, but your card was declined, so I stole it. You stole them? What if the police catch you? What was I supposed to do? We are out of air. I had no choice. Just drink your air. Don't worry about it. I need to get more air for my family. I'm only going to ask nicely once. Put all the air you have into this bag right now. No, I'm calling the police. I didn't want to have this. What is that? Ah, my eyes! Yeah, Mom, I grabbed as many bottles as I could. Mommy, can I have a bottle of air? It's hard to breathe. I'm sorry, honey, but I don't have any bottles left. It's too expensive now. Just close your eyes and rest. I'm scared. Here, I got lots of bottles. You can have some of mine. I now pronounce you husband and- Wait, I need you to do the flower test. Right now? Yes, I have to be sure. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. You don't love me. Why would you agree to marry me if you don't love me? I thought I did, but I wasn't sure. No, you knew. Because if you really love me, you wouldn't even have to think about it. Truthfully, there's someone else. <gasps> I'm sorry. Well, that was embarrassing. I love you, Timmy. Brianna, I love you too. I've loved you since I was six years old. What? But I did the flower test and you didn't love me back. It must have been wrong. Try it again. The flower test doesn't lie. Please, just one more time. He loves me. He loves me not. Welcome to the Harvard interview. Now, before we get started, we're going to have to ask you to remove your foundation. What? 
Why? We received a tip from someone that you have an unfulfilled promise. I'm sorry, but this is just protocol. Alright, so I was lying. I have an unfulfilled promise. But I meet every other requirement and then some! The interview's over. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. How'd the interview go? They found out. They said they received a tip from someone. But how is that possible? No one else but us knew. Hey mom, the interview's over. Can you come pick me up, please? Thank you so much for the heads up on Brianna. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't want someone getting to Harvard dishonestly. Your interview is tomorrow. You make a great candidate for Harvard. Thank you so much, sir. Here, Grandpa left these for you in his will. Cord headphones? These are ancient. They're not even compatible with the phone I use. Just take them. They were very important to him. Hello? Hello? See that little girl in front of you? The one with the braids? That's my daughter. Recently, she lost her favorite teddy bear I gave her. You need to tell her where it is. It's in the attic, in the purple cupboard. Please let her know. Why don't you tell her? Because I'm dead. Cord headphones? Those are ancient. They're from my grandpa. Hello? It's Sophia's father. I have a message for her. It's your dad. My dad's gone. I can't hear anything. This isn't funny. I'm leaving. So you got the headphones. They're releasing how many guys all the girls like today. Why aren't they releasing how many girls all the guys like? Seems a little sexist if you ask me. Whoa, Cynthia, you like 20 guys? Come on, they're all celebrities. Mostly. Brianna, you don't like anyone? I just haven't found a guy I like yet. What's wrong with that? How do you not have any guys you like? I'm not sure. I'm gonna make it my personal mission today to find you a guy you like. Look over there, it's Chad, head of the school soccer team. I'm not really into jocks. Maybe you're more into an artsy type. Look, it's Xavier, lead in the school musical. I don't know. It's still at zero. This isn't working. Men, fall in line. What's going on? We put together a presentation with all the finest men in our town. This isn't necessary. Come out, guy number one. Please just stop. I don't like any of the guys you show me because I don't like guys at all. I like girls. How many lives did I get? You only got one. Just one? What am I supposed to do with only one life? Hey, I'm going skydiving later. Wanna come? Jer, hey Brianna, are you coming? She can't. She only has one life. She can't take any risks. I used one of my lives yesterday. It was so crazy. I jumped from a 10-story building. Wow. Hey Brianna, how did you use your lives? I haven't. I've only ever had one life. So, I was thinking of going bungee jumping later. Who's coming? I am. But Brianna, you only have one life. I know, but I'm tired of not taking risks because I only have one life. We'll be attached to a rope. It's safe, right? It's pretty high. Hey guys, I was thinking maybe we jump without the rope. No, no, I can't, I- You first! <laughs> Dude, you killed her! She only had one life! How am I still alive? What? I only have one day left? Look who's 18 now! How much time did you get? One day. Here, I got 99 years. I'll give you some of my time. Thanks, but it doesn't really matter. My time's gonna run out sooner or later anyways. Hey, let's go to that coffee shop you love so much. It will cheer you up for sure. Good idea. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use the bathroom. Why do you look so sad? Oh, you know, it's nothing. It's just that my time left is only one week, so... I wish I only had a week left. I got infinite time. I've already lived hundreds of years. Infinite time? That's not even possible. Where did she go? What did I miss? A strange lady just approached me telling me she has infinite time and that she wishes she only had a week left. Infinite time is impossible. No way. Promise me that when we're 18, we'll get married. I promise. Pinky promise. You have a mark. Now you can't break your promise. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Would you like a lollipop? Of course. I'd love one. Honey, stay away from her. She has a mark. She can't be trusted. Uh-oh, we got a promise breaker in the room. You're hilarious, Scott. You let someone with a line into this establishment? Absolutely disgusting. I won't eat here. She's staying, so I suggest you leave. I'm glad I have you, Scott. You're the only one who will still be friends with me with my broken promise. You never told me what promise you broke. Maybe I changed my mind. Come with me. Why are we at a cemetery? Come here, little girl. 
Come here. Come here. Here, put these noise blockers on immediately. Let's get out of here. <coughs> Honey, listen. If someone's whispering, you need to run the other way immediately. Whispering is only used to kill people. Got it? Okay. Hey, Brianna. Hey, Jake. You look so beautiful. You look so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful, so... Hey, bestie. There's something going on with Jake. He was whispering earlier. He tried to kill me. What? Brianna, for your own safety, I wouldn't mention this again. Come and see me after class. What did you need to see me for, Miss Applewood? You're not supposed to mention things people don't want to hear about. Don't mention... Brianna. Brianna. Stop. Brianna. Stop. Who's Brianna. whispering? No one's whispering. Brianna. I think she's infected with whispers. The leader for today. Everyone, they're choosing the leader for today. I hope it's me. <laughs> it's me. That means you all have to follow what I do or you die. Timmy, you'll be a good leader, right? You won't make anyone do anything terrible. <laughs> Begin your exam. Oh, I don't want to write my exam. Everyone, take your exam paper, crumple it up, and throw it in the garbage. Uh, no, no, I need straight A's. I have to write this exam. Eugene, you have to follow whatever the leader does or you'll die. No, I have to get into Harvard. I have to write. Everyone stop. We're doing 100 jumping jacks. Timmy, why? One, two, one hundred. Timmy, that was a lot of jumping jacks. Maybe we should all drink water. No, there's no time for that. We're going to rob a bank. They're changing the leader. Whoa, she has a hundred lives. I wish I had a hundred lives. I'd have so much fun. Hey, Brianna, do you want to come jump off buildings with us later? No, I'm super busy. I'll pass today. Thank you, though. Come on, you have so many lives, you should use them. She has so many lives, and she doesn't even use them. That's so boring. If I had that many lives, I would not be like her. Did you want to come drowning with us? Not today. Sorry. Are you sure? It's going to be so much fun. I'm sure. Hello? Honey, come quick. We were in a terrible accident. Your sister's in critical condition. She's not going to make it. She'll need at least 99 lives to survive. But honey, you only have one life left. And that's all I need. Just do it. Hey, you're awake. Yes, sissy. I feel so much better. Uh, where'd your lives go? Happy 17th birthday. Hurry, blow up the candles. I want to see what mark you'll get. Please be gold. Please be gold. Well, what's my mark? There's nothing there. Why didn't I get a mark? It's gold. It has to be gold going to be gold today. Honey, it looks like your mark finally came in. I always knew you'd be successful. Yeah, me too. Wow, you got a gold mark. I'm so jealous. I only got blue when I turned 17. Brianna, that's so awesome. You got a gold mark. Did you expect it? Yeah, I mean, that's the mark I always thought I'd get, so... <laughs> On your neck, it's red. You're dangerous. Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. Oh, no, it's tails. Uh, a redo? Just the granola bar? Yes, how much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The Ten of Hearts? Go fish. <sighs> Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Mom, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Give me that Perrier water. No, it's mine. I'll trade you this chocolate for it. Deal. That shirt is so cute. Can I trade you for it? My shirt? But I'm wearing it. I'll trade you my shirt. Deal. Fits just like a glove. Hey, want to trade that necklace for this mystery box? I'll pass. I traded this necklace for 50 gems. Fine, your loss. What's in the box? It's a mystery. Okay, you have a deal. Just give me the box. Wow, a mystery box. 
I wonder what's inside. 